Hey there, it's Tyrone from Outsourcing Live. And it's been a great month for the month of November. Amazingly, it's been so, so quick and I'm really excited to share with you something that's interesting. Now, I don't want to go through all the stats and all that kind of stuff. You can actually check it out on my blog over here. It actually shows you everything that I've accomplished this month. And once again, the blog has increased in traffic which is a great sign. Particularly, my videos on my channel has increased about 30 odd percent and then also too, all my podcasts have increased by about 30% as well. So it's been a great month in terms of traffic for that side of things and things are growing organically. And then also just to mention as well, I'm ranked number eight right now on page one of the keyword term outsourcing. So we finally made it to the first page of Google for the term keyword term outsourcing. But as I mentioned in the last month's report, I said I'm going to start actually showing you every one of the monthly videos, a little tip that I've discovered over the month and something that I think you could easily apply and improve just the traffic for your blog, particularly for videos. So as I talk about outsourcing as my particular topic, I'm using very, very heavily right now videos to promote and talk about outsourcing online. And as you may or may not notice, YouTube has just recently updated their whole YouTube layout. And as you can see, it's pretty clean, very neat. And there are some pros and cons to it. I personally like it, it's quite nice. But in saying that, the old channel did have a few extra functions that is missing. It's gone really clean where I can't even see where the awards are. So usually on this channel, you get awards saying that you're ranked 74th for today for the top amount of traffic that you're getting for, etc. and that kind of stuff. But yeah, and also too, I guess the comments are all missing as well. You have to actually click onto a link to get to where you see all the comments, which is very, very important for building lots of traffic and backlink to your site or your channel. So that is something that I think is missing and I think that just continually editing and modifying. But what I wanted to share with you today is a little thing that I just discovered myself. And previously, I, when I was looking this out and checking it out, making sure that what was possible was that before we could only add one link to the right hand side here or left hand side actually to our sites. Now, as you can see, I've got two links here. I can actually put probably three, four, five, even maybe 10. I'm not 100% sure but I'm just sticking on the safe side. And I've put two links specifically keyword targeted like outsourcing here and Mass Outsource Mastermind which are specifically my websites. This one here is the blog and this one here is to my Mass Outsource Mastermind course which I train people on how to outsource. Anyway, the reason why I'm saying this to you is that at the moment, you can't see any links that or you can't see a line straight through it and what I mean by that is it means it's a do follow link which means that whatever link you put there, Google actually passes the link juice back to your blog or to your website which is a huge, huge thing. Like you'll see, this is loading up right now in a few seconds, there we go. On the left hand side, I just had a look at my feed, see these links here? These links have been crossed out which means they're no follow but when you have a look at the links on the right which are two links here, these are all do follow. Now for the people who don't know what no follow and do follow means, all it means is that if it's a do follow, it's a good sign and you want more of those links back to your site particularly where you've got the keyword that says whatever it is. For my term, it's outsourcing and that's the reason why Google looks at this highly. So it's a really positive sign that means that you can actually add more links here directing to your sites. Now, I don't recommend going crazy and adding like 10, 15 of them onto your site or channel. What I recommend you do is just to add maybe two or three so that way it links directly there and I'll quickly just show you right now how to do it. So you log into your channel, click on edit channel over here on the right hand side and then right over here where it says info and settings, you'll be able to actually edit this. Um, hmm, my fault, I shouldn't be clicking that one there, it should be over here actually, it's down here. So ignore me on, on what I said there, it's actually here. Uh, edit, there we go, there's the button, click on edit and there we go, right here. Oh. Stop that. So you can see right here, there's two links here because mm. it's throwing up advertisements now. I don't know why, 
but you can actually add in. Say, for example, add a new link. I might say SEO services because I do have an SEO services company uh, and also I put in the direct link to it. So it's like SEO services, HTTP uh, dot SEO services, HQ dot com dot AU. So I'll click on add and guess what? I got SEO services right there and that's actually added here and I'll click on save or apply and you'll see that on the right hand side that will update with a link back to SEO services which is fantastic and that's given my PR6 which is over here, you can see it's PR6 up here to all these other sites. I'll stop that and it's a, it's a positive sign. So if that makes any sense for you, hopefully it does, uh, you can actually go out and implement this. And obviously, the higher the PR links that you get back to your website, the better it is for you. That's all I can say. And that's why I think I've been getting a lot more traffic and also a lot more ranking better in Google for all my sites recently. All right, if you really, really enjoyed this, please feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget to read my monthly report to check out what I talk about. That way, you can pick up some tips and pointers on how to be able to improve and get traffic from YouTube back to your website and also learn how I outsource all this as well. So if you have any questions, just feel free to leave it down below here as you can see at outsourcinglive.com. All right, thanks very much for watching this. My name is Tyrone Shum and I'll see you inside the next video. Bye for now. If you're looking to outsource your video editing and production or looking to learn more about building an online audience using videos, then subscribe to my newsletter at outsourcinglive.com. I'll send you a free video course showing you where to and also how to find the best video editors to outsource your video production. Also, you'll get tips on what software to use and practical tips on getting videos created fast and easy. This video course is completely free. So head over to outsourcinglive.com and enter your email address to get access.